I have another cringe video of me singing for about six minutes. Let's actually talk about a good movie for once. A good, good movie. And that movie is Hokkaido. Yes, I got the DVD, so. And to be honest, how did that meme. F how did that GIF. What remember that kid? What the kid said at the end of Incredibles after he saw the Incredibles Beat Syndrome? That was so wicked. Oh my god. That movie was so amazing. Uh, the opening is good. The action scenes are good. It's non stop action. Non stop. Yes. Then I set up with the characters that honestly don't care about it. Mostly that I think that the princess who's reincarnated, or like a fairy who's reincarnated into a girl's body. Not really explained well. Probably need to read like the probably need to watch like the anime to understand that a little bit more because it's not really explained well in the movie. Like even if you're not watching like the anime for the first time or any of the whole kind of anime, it's not really explained well in the movie. That's but that's just a minor complaint. But when Hokkaido is on screen, he freaking owns the movie. He makes this movie. And oh my god, Hawkeye screen time is freaking amazing. He literally has so much weapon. He has a freaking. He literally takes like, tons of bullets from many guns and it somehow survived. And oh my god, the special effects in this movie are pretty good for the time. Like, this movie came out in like, what year? Uh, let's say, uh, what year did this movie come out? Damn, it doesn't say what year this movie came out. It does not say what year this movie came out. Let me see on a DVD. Nope, doesn't say it on a DVD. Okay. I'm probably gonna have to look it up later on and see what year this movie came out because I have no idea. It doesn't, I usually look on DVD to see what year this movie comes out, and it does not show the year. Oh, well, probably like 1980s, I guess. Because it feels kind of 80s. Or 90s, I, I don't know. Probably, Matt would probably know what year this movie came out, but it does not say on the DVD, so I have no, year, no idea what year this movie came out. I'm actually but. Mm. But this movie is amazing. Like, the opening's good. Oh, the opening of Hokkaido being in chains and then waking up after this group of treasure hunters find him. And then Hokkaido just basically goes rampage to Jesus Hound. Very original, but basically, Jesus Hound is a very cluttered way of peace leaving. Ruled by a, I guess is a dictatorship because, yeah, I guess you can technically say the forces blew all in town, and Jesus town, it makes it living hell, and people who don't abide by the law get, or just random citizens, they get tested on it, turn into freaking robots, Jesus fuck Christ, and either, they either turn into robots or they. Actually, I think the crown was turned into robots, and then, and then the vehicle citizens of ripped up the free will and are buying these animals. And the main villains of this movie, one's a robot, and then the other one's an angel. And let's just say, <laughs> I think the this this guy right here is uh in the movie, like uh. Couple times in the god, they actually spoiled the movie. <laughs> yeah. But he's in a movie like a couple times. It's just up on screen, and the screen time he does have it's thumbs up. But I really like this movie. It's it's very interesting seeing. Like every time I actually even like the subplot with the girl and the gangsters, peace fighters, whatever. 
it's still interesting even though i saw <laughs> to be honest i saw the dub mostly because i do not want to read subtitles especially for my vision to read that i need glasses to read because i have troubles reading that's fine mostly i prefer dub of sub yeah it's not like a preference i will watch sub but mostly watch that mostly do that I, I have troubles reading it's not really due to preference it's just more due to my eyesight <laughs> yeah anyway anyway I'll probably watch like the sub tonight and see how good that is it probably be a lot better if, well I wouldn't say better because the dub is good even though it's kind of cheese it kind of kind of cheesy a little bit like some dialogue and dub is uh, <laughs> kind of cheesy but I'm used to that with dubs like name like one good dub from the haste like tons of <laughs> bad dubs in the Japanese movies Japanese uh, movies <laughs> I don't know if that good <laughs> like pretty sure like probably like most of the 80s anime and by knees and the two thousands animes. Don't we really have like much we really have good dubs so I'm kinda used to like bad dubbing. So bye bye how my I try to do my best with that you know but okay, it was amazing it's an amazing film it's not stop action the ending of the movie is honestly the best part. Actually, most parts with kind of fighting like the robots are probably the best parts. Of the, probably like the highlights in the movie. Like this movie is so amazing. I'm gonna watch this movie again. I probably watch it like 24. I'll literally watch this movie like 24/7. I'll put it on repeat and repeat and repeat because of how good this movie is. Uh, this movie it's very interesting I've watched the dub like many times and I should probably watch the sub to see what the Japanese version is like I should probably also watch the direct of the I didn't watch I watched the director's card but I, I didn't have a chance to watch like, the, the, the actual card and what's even crazy about the the actual card is the one that appeared on theater is only 52 minutes, which is kind of weird because most movies that appear in theaters are usually like over an hour long. So 52 minutes, I'm kind of wondering how, what's the difference between 52 minutes and 77 minutes of the, the director's cuts. They literally took up like 20 five minutes so I'm wondering how the theatrical version looks like but I guess uh, that's a question for another day I'm probably gonna watch this movie like over again probably gonna watch it like, later on tonight or probably right now after I record this video but I absolutely love freaking Hokkaido I've watched this movie a thousand times like, again and again and this is probably gonna get me into the freaking anime, so yeah. I'm gonna watch all whole kind of anime. The tree. Speaking of this movie, this movie's pretty good. Especially with the robots. And, uh. Especially with the main family robot. He literally gets his head decapitated. He first he gets his arm ripped off, and then get his wing ripped off, and then he gets decapitated. Like, he kind of twists his neck and decapitates him, which is amazing. Oh, speaking of Hokkaido, he has a shotgun that can really bomb the freaking building. Holy shit. I love this freaking movie. This movie is so good. I highly recommend you check out this movie. This movie is the best. It's S tier. Perfect. I love this freaking movie. It's so, so good. Anyway, this is Anna Gordy sign off. And remember, 
Stay big, Hokkaido fans.